da 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 Welcome to Silly Super Awesome Mini Maker Show, Season 2, Episode 4! Did you ever want to upgrade your breadboarded circuits to something more permanent? Or maybe you got a hankering to make your own metal jewelry? Yeah, rock on! Today we'll show you how to do both with super simple copper etching. Let's go! For this copper-tastic build, we will need eye protection and gloves, rubber, latex, or any kind will do, ferric chloride etchant, found at some electronic stores or online, regular printer paper, printable plastic film or really thin glossy magazine pages, and access to a laser printer or copier, a clothes iron, some fine steel wool, and finally, some paper towels. It gets messy. For making jewelry, we'll also need some solid pieces of copper or brass, found at fancy art stores, and a plastic or glass container that can fit your piece to be etched. For circuit boards, instead we'll need a copper clad PC board, and a brand new kitchen sponge. For the sponge etch method pioneered by our friend Jim from Tech Shop. First things first, we need an image. What are we putting on our copper? If you got a circuit design ready in your CAD software or a high contrast piece of art for your jewelry, carefully print out your design on plastic or magazine paper. For the solid copper, roughly cut out what you need from the main piece. For the circuit board, you'll have to score it then snap it cleanly off. Once ready, scrub it with your steel wool a bit till it's nice and shiny. Now heat your iron to the highest setting, no steam, and let it heat up your copper or board fully, about two minutes. Now for the tricky part. Carefully take your printout, making sure the toner side is down, and center it above the hot metal where you want it to go, slowly lowering it down. As the toner touches, it should melt onto the metal. Put the paper back on and press and smooth firmly with the iron for another three minutes or so, lifting and checking for bubbles as you go. Toner is the black stuff put on paper by laser printers, and it's actually a type of plastic. This will melt and stick to the hot board to resist our etchant, keeping the areas it hides safe from being eaten away. There's lots of ways to do this step. Even some permanent markers can do the job, so you can even draw your design directly on the board. After ironing, let it cool, then carefully peel off the plastic film. If you're using magazine paper, let it soak completely in warm water, then carefully rub off the paper. And there's your finished image. Use permanent marker to clean up any rough edges or broken lines. Now to etch. Warning, fair chloride stains and will burn your skin. Always be careful while handling it, making sure to use it in a ventilated area and always wear your safety goggles and gloves while working with it. For the solid copper, tape off any areas you don't want to be etched, put on your goggles and gloves, then pour about six millimeters of ferric chloride into the container. Now to submerge your pieces. Once covered, carefully swish the fluid back and forth again and again. Keep this up anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how deep you want your etch. When done, carefully pour the etch back into the bottle. For circuit boards, cut a little square out of your sponge and carefully put a small amount of ferric chloride onto a square and start to wipe your board. The ferric chloride will eat away at the copper everywhere you wipe. You know you're done when the copper is gone and you can see the fiberglass backing. Once etched, wash everything off with water. Then gently swirl away the toner and oxidation. And you're done. This solid brass etch took about 40 minutes for 100 microns deep. Small, but effective. Try filling the voids with acrylic paint or nail polish around the edges of the metal to make a pendant or drill holes in your circuit board and you're ready to solder in the components. That's all for this episode. Be sure to experiment with different types of metal, be safe, bring your projects to the next level, and get out there and make something. I can understand dog, you know. He just said, hey, hey.